In this video, I'm going to be making some designs using the worst fonts of all time. I asked you all to submit me your least favorite fonts, and the first one on that list is... Jokerman is arguably one of the worst fonts on this list, so I had to lean into the bit a little bit. I started out with this ColourPop thing with like the soft brush tool, but I wasn't really feeling that and decided to just go with a black and white layout knowing that later on I was going to print it on colored paper. And you know, just do something kind of playful and chaotic from there with the type to the layout and even the hero image with the obvious watermarks of the stamp still on it. I think adding that simple punk stamp effect to any image really brings the design together and kind of adds to the little bit of chaos that is Joker Man. Overall, it's Joker Man, so try my best and at this point, I was hoping the next fonts would give me some better results. Bleeding Cowboys is a certified defont banger and I've seen this bad boy used all over Pinterest and I think it honestly has a little bit of potential in like the grunge type layout world. And I started to realize when I was messing with it, if you kern it right and you fix up some of the little swashes and things, it's, it's actually pretty dope. And Louis Moss put me onto this giant collection of royalty free scans from the British library. So I knew I wanted to incorporate one of those into the design. And I was looking through the site and saw that most of this shit was filled with cat stuff. So I couldn't help myself. I'm editing this right now. And I don't know why I said I couldn't help myself because I don't even like cats that much. Decided to lean into the grunge look of the font a little bit overlay it with some body copy type print scan it back in and you know hit it with that bright red orange with the final design shout out harry vincent overall i like the design and i think uh, bleeding cowboys has a time and a place if you use it right <sighs> this one i knew was going to be a challenge I fucking hate marker felt. It's the comic sans of fonts. I knew I wasn't gonna be able to do much with it, so decided to have some fun with the format and the subject matter. I've been bumping a lot of solo Wu-Tang projects lately, especially this Ghostface Killer one, so decided to do a little redesign with that. And honestly, when you track the font in up the yin yang and mix the fill and the outline stroke together, it's not too bad. And the best part about this font is probably the ampersand. That thing's pretty tight. I wasn't too mad about the overall color, this bitmap graphic I made with Raekwon, Ghost, and Capadonna, and putting it in the album art mockup, I think really helped wrap it all together. Still a shit font, but I'm not too upset about this one. So for the first day, I only worked on those three designs. You can only work with shitty typefaces for so long before your brain starts to rot and the existential dread kicks in. So I took a break that evening, played some ping pong, and brainstormed what I'm gonna do with the rest of these. An all-time classic font, for better or for worse. It has been the victim of so many beginner designers poster design layouts in college. I think this one got voted for because at face value, it's a decent typeface, but it's so overused and for being real, there's way better condensed sans serifs out there. I wanted to embody the classic use of these skinny sans serifs and do like a classic poster layout. I've been liking the idea of using simple imagery and having it flipped at the bottom to create this kind of mirror effect. Kind of almost like a type as texture thing for the bottom panel. I found this sweet image of a cyclist, masked him out so he broke from the layout a little bit, and just finished it off with this super energetic green. And yeah, this design does feel kind of 2018, but I was pretty stoked on it still. The infamous Comic Sans. This was the most voted for font on my Instagram poll, besides another one that will remain unnamed and starts with a P. Honestly, Comic Sans gets so much shit in the design world because of how it's misused, but at face value, it's a fun font, works well for kids, friendly stuff, and I honestly like that it doesn't take itself too seriously. And yeah, don't go using it on your website or some kind of professional documents, but I decided to show it in a nice light with none other than the legendary Burger King's Kids Club. If you went to BK as a kid in the 90s and 2000s, you remember these fools, and I decided to experiment with a new layout since the ones before were all either square or posters, so, and I made some business cards in honor of the fact that they discontinued the class Burger King kids. This layout is not going to win me no awards or anything, but hey, everything looks a little bit better on a black background. 
Bada boom. I realized I had only been making print designs like posters and square layouts. So for this one, I decided to put it on a t-shirt. I've always really loved these Facebook, Pinterest style, overly specific t-shirts you see online. And I thought what better time to design something so awful than for this video. Bada Boom also always kind of reminded me of the Fortnite font, which is I think called Burbank. So I decided to combine those two. And shout out to Duran for making probably the best t-shirt mockups in the game and elevating this shitty design to something uh, some designers may actually cop. Ironically, of course. Poor impact, so overused and made to look a fool. I was fixated though on trying to make impact look cool with this design. I have been thinking about going to this hardcore festival this year called Sound and Fury. So I thought let's whip up a little poster layout for that. Once you thicken up the lines on impact, fix the kerning and pop it into a contemporary layout, it's not half that bad. Mix that with a cool mosh pit photo in the middle, cutting that through with that little color pop and I thought this design turned out pretty dope. I did this fun scanner trick I like to do also where you print it on white and then invert it in Photoshop so you get those nice gray textures on the type and the black texture for the overall background. This may be my favorite one so far, but then I also think my brain was starting to rot from trying to make so many designs with these shit fonts. On to the next one. So that impact design gave me a little bit more confidence that I can create you know, some decently cool layouts with terrible fonts. So I tried to do that again with Trajan. I've been bumping parquet courts a lot again lately, and I knew they'd have some great lyrics for a like typographic layout type of thing. And Trajan looks pretty good, I think, when you use the light version and track it in a bunch. I also whipped up this fun little lockup in Illustrator with the band's name, the cool little Q swash cutting through the center, popped it into the type and image layout, and I think everything fit pretty nicely. And thanks to some tight tracking, the old reliable half tones and some decent stock photography. I think this design turned out pretty good. This one got voted for. I wasn't really familiar with it. So I decided to dive into it online. And this is probably my least favorite font on this list. Not only is it just terrible, but it's not even terrible in a funny or ironic way. I think Gaudi Stout takes the cake for my new least favorite font. Let me know what yours is in the comments. At this point, I was pretty over this challenge and remembered about this cool site I found that had a bunch of old objects that were scanned in like statue heads and whatnot. So I found this cool one, popped it into a Photoshop layout use this awful font to create this little postcard type thingy and I don't know I guess it's fitting overall because this is my least favorite font and probably my least favorite design of this video kind of anticlimactic huh <laughs> here's another quick look at all the designs and after doing this challenge it made me realize some of these fonts are ass but if you get creative have a little bit of design chops I think a good designer can make something decent using any typeface. So feel free to make some designs of your own using these shitty fonts and tag me on Instagram or something. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button and consider checking this one out next. Subscribe for more and I'll see you next time. Peace. All those shitty fonts were getting to my head.